Hey there. Welcome to the James Show. News Talk 820 WBAP, now on FM at 93.3. A lot of things have changed since you and I were kids. A lot of things uh, have gone by the wayside. There's been new technology, and for every new technology, we've lost a piece of technology. I bet your kids don't know how to make a collect call anymore. I bet your kids don't know how a beeper works. But there's also some other things that are falling by the wayside, one of which is handwriting. Do kids these days even know about handwriting? Let's talk to Lee Richardson. She's been on the show before from the Brain Performance Center. Uh, I have, I saw a report here that says some 20-year-olds can't even fill out a check anymore. Have you seen this, Lee? I have. I'm amazed. I've seen 20-year-olds that can't even address an envelope. They They just don't use and they don't communicate the same way. I asked someone to go out, go out an envelope and I'll mail you a, a printout. She didn't know how to do that. So the whole written communication is kind of fallen by the wayside. How important is it, though? It's very important. I mean, we're finally figuring out that technology is shortening our attention span. And when we're not doing things like handwriting, We don't need to think as deeply as we normally do. I mean, the brain's got a philosophy, use it or lose it. And the brain only puts off enough energy to light a small light bulb. And it takes every single bit of that energy to run our brain and our body. So if we've got neural networks that we're not using, shut those down, redirect that energy. And what we're finding out is that even adults, you know, are reporting, 45% of adults report that they can't even read their own handwriting. And 70% say that they have trouble reading notes or reports from coworkers. So it's becoming a lost art. Well, isn't it being replaced by a better art? Uh, one of my, I'm a big fan of talk to text. I think that is changing the world uh, for the better. Uh, is that not enough to replace handwriting with talk to text? Well, and I'm sure there's a lots of people that are fans, and, and but what they're finding is that handwriting is tied to other things. It's tied to memory. It's tied to retrieval of information. And when you're when you're talking your text, you're using your auditory processing skills, but that's about it. And whenever you're writing, the whole brain is active. And the the writing requires the brain to communicate more between the active active parts. So it helps us learn more and remember better. Talk to text is faster, that's for sure. So what should we do? Should we do some writing exercises every once in a while just to stay sharp? Well, I think we should at least practice signing our names. I mean, I don't think anybody even writes a check anymore. Um, But we all ought to be able to sign our names. And particularly for younger kids, I mean, back in 2010, the government took the handwriting off of the core curriculum. And some states, our our neighboring state, Oklahoma, just brought it back three days ago that kids in the the third to sixth grade have got to take cursive. So I think that there's to keep our learning structure strong, we've got to bring it back. All right, Lee Richardson, I appreciate you being on the James Show again, talking about the importance of kids learning handwriting. My kids' handwriting, the boys is terrible, the girls, adorable. What's up with that? (laughs) And that's the way it always is. You know, girls are so much more. They're more concerned about how neat it is. They're more concerned about how pristine it is. Right, the guys are like, how do I convey this idea? Girls are like, look at how pretty this is. You got it. Exactly. How can I express myself? All right. Thanks again, Lee Richardson, for being on.